hello everyone welcome back to my channel again so today this is one of the last uh, part of uh, the watercolor resist so i'm going to use uh, oil pastel white oil pastel instead of uh, candle wax try to make some marks and paint a very beautiful mountain so just follow along with me you should be able to paint a very beautiful uh, painting which actually resembles most of um, like uh, Barbara's uh, type of painting so it's very easy very colorful so let's uh, get hi everyone so if you are here for the first time please try uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so that uh, helps me a lot uh, and then it encourages me to do more and more so let's continue as you can see I've taken some uh, oil pastel and I'm just if you look at a snow mountain so you will know exactly where you want those whites to be because it's on white paper even if I change the angle you won't be able to see much but you get an idea once you look at the painting you get an idea exactly what are the colors so after that I just wanted to have that color contrast with the sky and the mountain it's just up to you if you want to go ahead with just blue sky try that if not uh, just a colorful sky the uh, the one like the one that which i painted and then uh, follow along with me with uh, the entire painting so you will know exactly the marks that i have actually left on the mountain so you don't have to worry about even the dots on the mountain might represent uh, stone or uh, or anything that actually has to do with uh, not the snow at all so this is the mixture of uh, ultramarine blue plus uh, magenta or otherwise you can actually take any uh, what is this crimson with ultramarine blue very light because watercolor dries uh, uh, lighter so as you can see that the application that i am trying to put now that is after the sky dried so that uh, the color of the mountain mainly uh, managing the edges it's not going to bleed into uh, the sky itself so I'm just trying to get that uh, darkness on the left hand side the light is the main intention is the light source is from the right and the left side is under the shadow so uh, it looks darker now but it will be okay now what you can do is just start applying that uh, color everywhere on the right side because I, I don't want to leave that entire white so if I just take a little bit of uh, white and now you can see wherever I had applied uh, white oil pastel it is not going because it's a watercolor register so it just see it is just pure natural that you don't have to you can go with a smaller brush and make all those details try uh, for the negative painting but as you can see it was it was very easy so once you apply that oil pastel or otherwise even candle wax oil pastel i applied because it's white then uh, if you see on the left side of uh, the shadow side of the mountain also I applied a little bit line so at least it shows a little bit of bright um, snow that that was that is the main exercise from this because mountain is something that everyone just tries to paint uh, mountain just uh, like two or three heaps and then there is not much of uh, light source and shadow side everything is not actually uh, shown in depth so if you use this i think mountains you will never have any problem but if you wanted a mountain with a little bit of trees then go with a different color it doesn't have to be snow maybe you painted uh, light green first or otherwise light brown first then applied uh, candle wax as a watercolor resist then applied uh, then apply green and then that will actually show the uh, trees on the mountain so that actually you can go layer by layer and then once it dries apply candle wax and then try to come up with different ideas so you get an idea when to put uh, candle wax it doesn't have to be exactly on white paper so it, uh, it you can paint first then put the layer and then paint the second layer on top of that whatever it represents so if you follow along you should have a very good painting and then i list uh, uh, some of the videos previous videos for the watercolor resist and i hope you have good time i'll see you next time